The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your alien shortcut, right click it, go to properties, then the compatibility tab, and make sure that this box is ticked. Run this program as administrator. Once you've done this, you should boot up alien, go to options and then video, and make sure that vSync is turned off and alien is set to either windowed or windowed full screen. This is so you can tab out during runs without your game pausing. You're also going to need a text editing software of some kind. I recommend Notepad++. It's free and open source. And an unzipping software of some kind. I recommend 7-Zip. It's also free and open source. I'll put the links to both in the description. You don't have to use these programs specifically. Any text editing software and unzipping program will do. If you already have those downloaded, you can skip this step. Next up, you're going to head over to speedrun.com slash AI. There'll be a link to the Discord. I suggest that you click it. There's lots of helpful information in there and people can help you out if you're having problems. Then head to the Resources tab and download Steve. It should be a one-click download. And then you'll get it in your drop-down box. Once you've downloaded Steve, head into your system tray, go to Steam, right-click it, go to Library, find Alien Isolation and right-click that. Go to Properties then language and you can pick either French or Italian. If you're trying to go as fast as possible, French and Italian are the two fastest languages. One of our runners, Cliffs, created a big spreadsheet. If you're interested in checking it out, I'll quote it on stream now. Um, but if you're interested in looking more deeply into it, I'll put it in the link in the description. After you've decided which language you're going to pick, go to local files and hit browse. You can close your Steam windows after you've done that. Then cut your 7-zip Steve file, which you've downloaded from speedrun.com. Make a new folder in the directory called Steve. Paste the Steve file into it and extract it. Once you've done that, you can double click on the Steve icon and you will greet it with this window. You can see at this bottom, there's a message saying, uh, choose your remote folder. So this will be different for everyone. Uh, my remote folder will be in my Steam directory, which is on my C drive. So I just go to C program files, um, Steam and then user data there'll be one unique folder within user data and then you pick the number ending in 490 and then remote after you find that folder hit OK now that that's done uh, click the speaker symbol on the right hand side and then suppress confirmation and disable intro movies that error message is just because I already deleted my movies manually then go to the right hand side click the blue box and then change the audio language from either um, French or Italian, depending on what you picked, to English. And now your radio menu or your items or your subtitles, they'll all be in English, which is really useful. And finally, um, hit this plus in the bottom left hand corner, which says more. Uh, go to novice, which is the middle button here. Tick the all box and then hit copy. And what that will do, it will copy maxed out mission saves with, you know, loot, items, all that stuff. After you've loaded your mission saves, you're going to want to go to your desktop, or it can be anywhere really, but the easiest place is your desktop, and make a folder called AI. In this folder, you're going to save all your custom saves for novice. Custom saves are really good for practice, and um, it's where I also store my backups, my LiveSpit files, and my config file. The config file is what we change in speedruns to enable us to do a whole bunch of cool things like um, do generators super fast in one roll of the mouse wheel. So. Taking this AI folder, go back to your Steve and click the green button in the top right. This opens your remote folder where your original input, input.cfg file, excuse me, is stored. Cut this file and paste it into your backup AI folder. Then head over to the speedrun discord, which you should have joined already if you've been following the guide. Go to the resources tab and download this input.cfg file. If you know how LiveSplit works or if you need to set up LiveSplit, I'd also highly recommend downloading these splits here. So what I've done is I've pre-done the input.cfg file so you don't have to change anything. If I open it up, you should have these binds. And the main difference is that we bind mouse wheel up and down to button mash and mouse wheel up and down to use. There's a few extra things. But if you want to change key binds here, like if you want space on a different key, if you want peak on a different key, you're going to have to change them in this file. Don't load up alien and try and change key binds within the alien game itself or it will delete some of these key binds. And then once you've done that, you should have a backup of your CFG file, the original, in your AI folder, and the new CFG file should be in your remote folder. So after you've done that, you can close both folders, and you can close Steve. So the final step, you're almost done. 
um, is to cap and display your FPS. You can do this in a multitude of ways. Uh, in Alien, we need to cap FPS at 275 or less. It's just down to preference. Some people cap at 120, 140, 200, etc. This is because in particularly Mission 1, um, you can look down at the ground and people with high-end CPUs exceed 275 FPS and they actually start moving faster which gives people with higher end setups a massive advantage and we want alien to be accessible to everyone there's also other bonuses like skipping cutscenes super fast but yeah basically um cap your fps to 275 or less and i'm going to show you multiple ways to do that you can use an all-in-one program for example something like msi afterburner this will both cap your fps to whatever you pick and display it on stream or on screen rather. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, there's probably an easier way. You don't have to download anything. You can just right click your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel. This might take a few seconds, bear with me. You can scroll down and you can see here, max frame rate, I've capped to 275. But as I said, it's completely down to preference. It just needs to be this or less. If capping FPS on an AMD setup, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe AMD has their own software, but third-party programs like MSI Afterburner or Revertuner will, can definitely help you out. If you don't want to download anything, there's actually a way you can do it in Steam itself. If you go back to Steam and go to Settings, then go to the In-Game tab here, there's an In-Game FPS counter. However, if you're going to enable this, um, you can pick the direction too. Make sure that this high contrast color box is ticked. If you use the default Steam counter, it's really hard to see, and mods are perfectly within their right to reject your runs if your timer is just, you know, really hard to see. You don't want to create a bunch of work for other people. Also, other runners might be interested in what your FPS is, so make sure whichever program you pick that your FPS is easily visible. So congratulations, you're basically all set up to get started with speedrunning. There's one final step, this is completely optional, uh, and this is adding a dot to your AI. Uh, you're gonna use a program called Reshade. So if you head back over to the resources tab, as you can see here, um, scroll down and then you should see this Reshade application, just like with Steve before, left click on it once and you'll get it in your dropdown box. So exactly the same as before, I'm gonna go to the Reshade file. I'm just gonna show it in folder so I can cut it more easily. Uh, cut it, and then I'll close this folder, and then I'll close the browser window, and paste reshade on my desktop. This is just so I can show it more easily to you guys. Then we're going to pull up our local file again. If you've closed the window for whatever reason, just remember you can go to Steam, your library, Alien Isolation, right click, Properties, Local Files, and then it's Browse in the top right hand corner. Uh, once you've got the reshared file, drag it into your folder, right click it, and choose extract here. Once your reshade folder is extracted, go to the reshade.ini file, right click it and hit edit. It'll open whatever your default text viewer is. Now drag your window to one side, you're gonna need it. And what you're gonna do is find this file path here at the top, left click it and hit control C to copy. Then you're gonna to go to your reshade.ini file and find the line, this current preset path that ends with slash ai.ini. Leave this final bit here, you're going to need it, but everything before that, up until where the drive starts, you see it starts with F, you can get rid of and just paste your new URL into it. Uh, make sure that you've done this correctly, like you haven't deleted the equals or some random uh, text, otherwise the file path won't work. The second file path you have to change is this one here. Uh, and you can see it ends with reshade Xhair master shaders. And there's a reshade Xhair master folder here. So click that then click shaders. And just as before, left click, control C and override this section. And the very final path um, is your screenshot path. And this is actually just the same as this, but if you want to go back to it, you copy and paste this paste it in, and then hit save. So once you've done all that, save the files, close both the windows, and then boot up Alien Isolation. You can see at the top there, I don't know if you missed it, but a message now pops up saying uh, hit Shift F2 to open the menu, so do that. You can do it after the message has disappeared, no worries. Then go to the Settings tab, and what you want to do is um, change the overlay key to something just easier than two keys. So you, I personally like to use home, but you can use shift, delete, insert, um, just work around your current keybinds. 
Then uh, scroll down to the bottom and you can see here that an FPS counter has appeared. If you already have an FPS counter, um, you can just tick this box to show FPS uh, on or off and you can change the color to whatever you like as well and the position. I personally like to have my FPS in the bottom right hand corner, so I'll do that now. And I like to have the color different, but I can change that afterwards. Go back to the home tab and untick performance mode, then increase the size of this window. And now you can see a dot has appeared on screen. Uh, you can change the dot size to be as large, dot size, excuse me, to be as large or as little as you'd like. And you can edit the color um, under the composite X hair. Where's that? Here. So you can see the dot color is gray, but you honestly change it to whatever you like. Pink, green, blue, yellow, mix it up. Once that's done, you are all set to speedrun Alien Isolation. Good luck.